time guys if i'm back again with another video and in this video uh, we will be discussing uh, two functions in my uh, microsoft excel the bit left shift and the bit right shift now this particular video is going to be slightly different from the earlier videos that i have done on uh, microsoft excel in the way that this would be more targeted people who uh, who program computers uh, because we will be talking about shifting of uh, bits left and right. Uh, before we actually uh, get into these two functions itself, we need to understand uh, the number system. Okay. Now, normally in our lives, what we have is the decimal number system, okay, which is ba actually base 10. Now, this is what a, uh, you know, a decimal number system number would look like. In the first place, you've got the units place, which is the ones place. Then you've got the 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, so on and so forth. What that means is, if you have a number, say for example, 102, sorry, um, 102, okay? What that means is two units, so two ones, no tens, and 100. So you could say this is, 100 plus 0 plus 2 okay uh, if i were to uh, put an equal sign here uh, so you can see that is 102 so that's how this is base 10 okay this is this, uh, the number system that we are most common uh, most commonly uh, using in our lives and this is the number system that we are most uh, familiar with you know in the everyday uh, working now like i said the first place is the units place the tens place 100 so basically this is 10 raised to the power of zero anything raised to the power of zero is one okay so this is 10 raised to the power of one 10 squared 10 cube 10 raised to the power of four 10 raised to the power of five 10 raised to the power of six you know raised to the power of seven and so on and so forth so because this is 10 raised to the power of zero, which is, you know, anything raised to the power of zero is always one. So this is always the unit place. Uh, 10 raised to the power of one is 10. 10 raised to the power of two is 100. 10 raised to the power of three is 1,000 and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, so if we have a number like 102, basically what that means is, it's uh, one of the hundreds, none of the tens, and two of the units okay that's how we uh, do our math every day okay but there are other uh, number systems also uh, that we uh, use in uh, computers there's uh, the octal number system in which basically you have uh, base eight so here whenever you're writing numbers when you get the highest number that you have is nine so you have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and then instead of uh, when you have 10, basically what you do is you put a zero here and you carry one, okay? So the largest digit that you can have is one less than the base. So in base 10, the largest digit that you would have is nine, okay? So when you have a nine here, uh, that's the largest digit you can have. So when you go one higher than that, so you put a zero and you carry one, okay? Now, similarly, in base uh, 8, or the octal number system, the highest num digit, the, the largest digit that you can have is a 7. Okay? So, uh, whenever you have, uh, say, for example, you have a 7 here, but that means it's 7 units. Okay? Now, when you add one to that, basically, because the units, the number system is 8, you can't put an 8 here. You would be able to put an 8 in, in the decimal number system, but you cannot put an eight in the octal number system because that's higher than the highest digit allowed in the base eight system. So you put a, uh, if you have a seven, you add one, basically this becomes zero and you carry one and that you get one of eight. Zero, none of the units and one of eight. Uh, moving forward, we have what we call the hexadecimal. Here the uh, number system is 16, okay? so. This is a little different because over here we have digits. Uh, digits that go from 0 to 9. So basically we have 10 digits. 
Here we have that number uh, digits that go from zero to seven. Again, you have eight digits. Now in the octal system, you have from zero going up to, because this is uh, base 16, you would have zero to going up to 15, okay? Now you don't have 15 as a, as a digit, okay? So basically what you do is you have uh, zero to nine, okay? And uh, then you have, 10 is basically A. Okay, I'm sorry, hang on. A. Uh, then 11 is B. 12 is C. 13 is D. 14 is E. And 15 is F. So that's how, when you run out of digits, you start using letters. And that is in the hexadecimal numbering system. So the first place is still the unit place because that is 16 raised to the power of zero. So if I was to write, I could even do this. Okay. And similarly, I could uh, put eight to the power zero and uh, 10 raised to the power of zero. Okay. So uh, when we have, say for example, 10 in base 16, it's not the same as 10 in base 10. Because in base 10, 10 is 10, okay? But uh, in base 16, when you write one zero, basically what you're saying is no units and one 16. So basically one zero in base 16 is actually 16 in number system, okay? Because you have one of 16s and zeros of uh, units, okay? So basically what we could do is we'll say 16, oh sorry, 16 plus zero, okay? And that would give you 16. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 16 plus zero, okay? <clears throat> uh, if you were to have something that looks like this, okay? So now you will have, uh, this is the 256 place. So you have 256 plus 16 plus zero. Okay, uh, that would be 282, I think. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we come to the binary number system. This is how your the insides of your computer work. The chips that work inside your computer, they use the binary system. So you can either have a one or you can have a zero. Okay, now you can think of a, you know, a chip being turned on, a part of a chip that is on or a part of a chip that's off. When it's off, it's a zero. When something is on, it's a one. And uh, you must have seen a lot of uh, gadgets these days have a one and a zero on the on off button. And that's where this comes from, okay? So in the binary system, you have either a one or a zero. And zero, like I said, you can think of it something being, you know, uh, a flip-flop, which is basically a, a storage, uh, you know, the very basic storage uh, system that you can have, you can have it turned off, it would be zero, or it can be turned on, and that would be a one, okay? So if we, and now, just, just like in the previous three number systems, in number 10, the highest digit that we could have was a nine. In, the, in octal, the highest digit that we could have was an eight, uh, was a seven. In the octal was an F because we ran out of the digit, so it would, be, would have been 15, but that we don't have a digit for 15, so we use the letter F. Um, in the binary, it's, like I said, it's always one less than the base, so in binary is base two. So the highest digit that you can have is a one. So you can only have a, a zero or a one, okay? And so this is going to be two, oops, sorry, two uh, raised to the power of zero, okay? Now, Say, for example, uh, you have a f uh, number one, um, zero, one, okay? So that would be basically, one is a four, so four plus no twos plus one unit. I'm just gonna move it across, hang on. Yeah, okay. Um, four plus zero plus one. Okay. 
So this is basically equal to five in your decimal number system, your normal number system that you're used to. Okay, so one force in one unit, that's five. Okay, so this is a very quick uh, tutorial on the number system. Now the two functions that we'll be talking about today, the bit uh, shift, uh, left shift and the right shift, they would work on the binary system. And in, in this uh, binary system, each digit is called a bit. And normally eight of those bits put together is a byte. The basic unit of information is, is a bit. And when you put eight of them together, that becomes a byte. Okay, so when you are shifting a bit to the left or a bit to the right, that's what these functions do, okay? So now that we know what a binary system, the number systems are, what a binary number system is, what bits are, and what shifting bits is, let's go into the actual function, okay? So let's go to this sheet here. Now, this is similar to what we have over here. Um, from zero to 15, if you have, this is decimal, okay? Base 10, this is base two, binary, okay? So zero that means no units, no twos, no fours, no eights, okay? One would be one unit, no twos, no fours, no eights. Two would be no units, one, one, one twos, and no fours or eights. Three would be one unit, one two, no fours and eights. Four would be no units, no twos, and one fours, and so on and so forth. Okay, now, like I said, these each individual digit is called a bit. Okay, now the function is bit left shift. What that means is you're shifting this across one. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this here. Okay. So you, what you're doing is you are shifting this number over to the left one place or two places. You could make it more than two places. But let's see how you know we would do in uh, one if you're just shifting one one place. Okay. So this one is in the eighth place. When this gets shifted to the left, it comes in the sixteenth place. So we put a one here. This zero is in the fourth place. So now when it shifts to the left. It comes in the eighth place. So you put a zero here. This zero was in the twos place, shifted to the left. It comes in the fourth place. So put a zero here. This one comes in the one unit place. It shifts to the left and now it is in the twos place. So I put a one here. And this is empty, so I just put a zero. So when I sh left shift the bits in you know, in a decimal number that's not, that would be nine, but the binary number would be one, zero, zero, one. When I shift it left by one bit, instead of decimal number nine, it becomes a decimal number 18. Now, how do you use this function? Let's do it over here. It's bit, and all it, you know, say, all it tells you uh, the suggestions. So this is the one that we'll be using, bit left shift. The number that we're shifting is number nine. Okay. And shift amount, we're shifting it by one digit and close bracket, and we should get an 18. Okay, so that's essentially how you do a left shift. Okay. Now, very similar to this, you could be shifting the bits to the right. So let's see how we do that. I'm just gonna write this out again. Okay. Say for example, you have this number here, what is in decimal in number nine, but in binary is one, zero, zero, one. And now we are shifting the bits to the right. Over here, what we did was we shifted bits to the left. Now we're shifting bits to the right. So this one, which is in the eighth place, when we shift it to the right, it comes here, which is on in the fourth place. So let's go and put a one in the fourth place. Now this zero, which is in the fourth place, would get shifted to the second place. Put a zero here. 
the second zero, which was in the two's place, would get shifted here, which is and now will be in the zero space. So a decimal number nine, when converted into binary, is one zero zero one. But when you do a single bit shift to the right, it becomes a decimal four. And let's see how we do that. Bit right shift. Okay, number nine, and we're only shifting it one uh, one point across, one uh, one cell to the to the right, and we should get a four. Okay, uh, let's go back to the this one here, and let's do two shifts. Well, let's not do this two shift. Let's do, let's do it over here because then I'll uh, run out of space over here. So let's just uh, do it over here. I'm just going to get rid of this again. Uh, let's assume that we are doing shifting it two uh, boxes to the right. Um, so this one that is in the eighth place, one, two, it gets shifted to the right two boxes, and now it's in the one place, in the two space. Sorry. So this one which was in the eight place, now it's in the two's place. So I put a one here. This zero, which is in the fourth place, this shifts one, two, places to the right, and now it's in the in the unit's place. I put a zero here, and that should give us two. And now let's see if I were to, instead of one bit, I'm shifting it by two bits, it should give me a two. Okay, so that's essentially how you shift bits to the right or to the left, uh, depending what uh, application that you want, uh, what you're using it in. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this video is slightly different from the other ones because this is not something that you would be using every day. This is more uh, targeted towards programmers because they would be uh, playing around with bits and bytes. Okay, but uh, that's, I just wanted to uh, introduce you to there's two functions that actually allow you to manipulate numbers at the bit level, okay? So that's the end of uh, this video. I hope you like this. If you did like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any feedback about this video or any other video, uh, just go ahead uh, and use the comment section below uh, this video or other videos uh, to leave a feedback. I will uh, uh, try and get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, like I said, if, uh, do subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.